in this video I'm going to go over how to remove punctuation from strings and most notably how to remove double quotes. So we've got a list of names here with extra characters that are unwanted. First thing we want to do is drag a formula tool to the canvas and create a new column called queen name. And let's start off with the trim function. We've got trim left and trim right, uh, but I like to use trim because it'll do both sides if possible. The string in question is name. And for the second argument, what do we want to remove? Uh, let's just start off with removing a comma. We'll see that right here there used to be a comma, but in the data preview, now there is no longer a comma. Well, let's say we wanted to remove the double quotes first. We can't just delete this and add a double quote because now we have three double quotes and it doesn't know what's going on. So we don't always have to use double quotes as the surrounding characters. We can instead use single quotes. So I replaced those and now we can see it's removed the left double quote. It didn't move the right one because there's a comma after it. So what we can do is we can just wrap this in another function. We can say replace string target and replacement. So this first value is going to be our string. Second value is our target, which we want to do a quote, double quote, quote. Comma, what do we want to replace it with? Nothing. Now that's been removed. Well, now we can do another one. We could say trim this string, comma. We want to trim out a comma. But we also want to trim out any extra spaces. And when we hit run, we can see we've got most everything, but we do have this one John Smith with two spaces in the middle. Well, trim doesn't take out two spaces in the middle like it does in Excel. So what we can do is we can wrap this in a another replace formula. So we're going to replace in that string. We want to find two spaces and replace it with just one space. When we run this, we now see looks like it didn't save, so let me do replace. Two spaces. Find two spaces, replace it with one. And now when we do run, we can see that it's all set correctly. Now you might be asking, what if there's more spaces? If we were to run this, we would be left with a bunch of extra spaces. So in that case, we could always just take this replace formula, add it. You know, as many times as you want, four more times. One, two, three, four. And now when we run this, we've got super clean names, and we were able to remove uh, extra spaces, commas, and even double quotes.